okay. You know? I can do it. Because when I started doing the videos, it was like so weird to like teach yoga into the camera. Cause it's yeah, like it's very to, different. You know, it's very different, but, um, but you'll be perfect. Okay. But you look great okay. on camera. Yeah. You look great. Yeah. Okay. Good angle, Jen. Good angle. Just double checking. Yeah, I think the that's lighting's perfect. light on her. You got great. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Did I, did I hide the camera well enough for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you come in. And, and then Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So this is take one. Questions in three, two. One. Name one thing that sticks out in your mind about this yoga teacher training. Uh, one thing that sticks out in my mind about this yoga teacher training is. The amount of connection you feel with the rest of your class, um, I think it really provides a good foundation for that kind of connection that you want to develop with your students um, right away during every class, whether it's a long-term student or somebody you're meeting right away. It gives you uh, the kind of sense of um, relatability that you want to develop as a yoga teacher. Beautiful. Why did you decide to become a yoga teacher? I decided to become a yoga teacher because I discovered... Uh, let me do that okay. all over. I, I, shook, I shook this. Yeah. Okay. So, answer question. Yeah, sorry. Why did you decide to become a yoga teacher? Um, I decided to become a yoga teacher because I discovered the amazing benefits of yoga uh, as a physical exercise um, as well as a mental one. I think that Yoga helps you to discover your true self and it helps you to better connect with others because you're on a better basis with who you are. Why would you recommend this yoga teacher training to other students? I would recommend this yoga teacher training to other students because it really helps you to develop the proper techniques and skills to become a yoga teacher. You don't just learn the asanas, you don't just learn the philosophy, you learn the person-to-person -person aspects of teaching. You learn how to switch up your cues when they're not working for a student. You learn how to connect how to uh, develop classes that um, are the best, are going to be the best for your students and how to be adaptable within your classes. So um, changing your routine on the spot to accommodate one of your students. How did this yoga teacher training affect your life? This yoga teacher training has affected my life in a really positive way. I look forward to teaching every single time that I have a class, um, no matter what my day is like, what my week is like, what I might feel about going to class and teaching. I always come out of it um, feeling renewed and refreshed and just so, it's so rewarding to teach. And this particular training set me up for that. It, taught me how to get through to students in a way that is the most rewarding for both them and me. Wow, You're awesome. awesome. Anything that was you awesome. want to add, Taylor, like any, your own comments that you want to add before we finish? And we can, you know, we'll cut all of this stuff, but you did, you did awesome, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, got a little bit of experience with this kind of stuff, so we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of experience? Oh, no, I was just, I was a dancer, so I'm used to doing performance stuff. Um, Being in front of the, putting on a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm used to it, so, yeah. yeah. And I think that teaching is, you have to be able to you think of like things right away. I, yeah, I don't know, is there anything else? Maybe at, maybe at the end, everyone should say, like, the same thing, like, I love Tula. Or to, I don't know, like something like that we can clip to each person yes. saying something cool or like a phrase that each person says a word of. You know oh. what I mean? Like like we want to say something, but like Taylor says a part of it, Nicole Whoa. says a part of it, Stephanie says oh, a part I of like it. Oh, I like that. I like that too. Anything you can think of quick? <laughs> Just like off the top, but. So then we splice it. We, we splice it, it. We splice it together. together. Like, oh, I love um, it. I love it. Like 
just do it. Become a yoga teacher. I don't know, like something like. Uh, Well, is there anything that overall, like, you want the video to, like, encompass? Like, is there, like, a general feeling that you want to have? Something like, something along, achieve your dream, become yeah. a yoga teacher, at Tula Yoga, or something. Like you could splice together, that. like, little oh, phrases about, right. like, like, change your life, like, uh, uh, you know, um, find your passion. Right. Uh, um, I love it. Yeah, find your passion. I love it. Deepen your practice. Change your life. Yeah, there you go. And then if you wanted to add two more, you could, you know, tool. Okay, I'll actually put it in my notes. Okay, so Taylor, you say um, find your passion and say it like really like yeah. positive. <laughs> in three, two, one. Find your passion. What's the, what's the second one? That was so cute. Um, Deepen your practice. Okay. In three, <laughs> two, one. Deepen your practice. <laughs> because we'll take the best of. Okay. Yeah. Change your life. In three, two, one. Change your life. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Let me grab my yoga teacher training for Woo! This morning. Woo! 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 Yeah. Um, find your find your oh, passion. Oh, oh, I should use the words on my flyer. Inspire. Deepen your practice. Change your life. I don't know. I kind of like what we have too. Inspire. Be inspired. What do you think? Do you think it, uh, it's be inspired? Uh, I don't know. As a teacher, this is for teacher training. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Be inspired. I like what we have, but I like the consistency of what your uh, marketing is. I know. Inspire. Be inspired. I, yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's like a really big part of the training is to inspire and at the same time it's it's twofold. It's not the same. It's not inspire and other say be inspired. It's input and output. You you want to yeah. get both things. Right. Right. Okay. okay so, so you know what? Let's well, film it. We we can do whatever we want with it once we can film it. Okay. So what you're gonna say inspire? Inspire. Sure. And then, and then we'll, okay. In, <laughs> in three, two, one. Inspire. Be inspired. <laughs> in three, two, one. Be inspired. And do we want to put that in there? Start, Start doing, doing what you love. love. You sound too gimmicky. I don't think so. No? Start doing what you love. It's, it's simple. It's Start doing what you love, okay. In three, two, one. Start doing what you love. You're so cute. Uh, <laughs> you got awesome. the acting down, the emotion yeah. down. Yes, great. awesome. Yeah, you're awesome. Yes. Good uh, foot. And again, just do your best and then flip up, just stop and start again or say cut or whatever. Okay. Name one thing that sticks out in your mind about the yoga teacher training. Oh, that's tough because really the whole thing was amazing, but I think mostly the relationships with the people, both the other students, the teachers that came in, everyone is so amazing. It was just such a good learning environment and just being able to thrive in that kind of environment is really important. Awesome. Why did you decide to become a yoga teacher? I initially came into the training just wanting to get more information for my own practice, wanting to expand my own practice. And then once I started doing the training and gaining more confidence in my teaching was when I really started to think of it as a career. Why would you recommend this training to other students? I think Tula definitely has an advantage in that they have some of the best teachers and practitioners, probably in the state of New Jersey, maybe even beyond. Um, so you really do get an amazing yoga education here. How did this teacher training affect your life? It affected my life in a huge way because now I'm at the point where I'm able to do this full time as my career. So really doing this totally changed my career, my life path, my goals. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, great job, Nicole. Those yeah. are the questions. Anything you want to add on your own? Any like any extra comments or anything? Um, no, not really. No? That was pretty much all I was going to say anyway. Okay, good, yeah. Good. Awesome. Now, Drew, we're going to do that. Um, the clip. Yeah.
find your passion, deepen your practice, change your life. Okay. So that, should we have a do all of them or just one? You want each yeah, person yeah, to do all one, of them? Yeah, you want to say, you know what, I was way close to that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll do it. I'm going to give you three things. You're going to say them because we're going to click mm-hmm. them. So the first one is find your passion. Okay. The second one is deepen your practice. And the third one is change your life. Okay. So just picture this, we're going to have three people, like, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Right, take the best of what you're saying. So when you hear these words, give the emotion of what you feel they mean. Yeah. Okay. No. Find your passion. Find, um, find your passion. <laughs> Three, two. Find your passion. Deepen your practice. Deepen your practice. Change your life. Change your life. Awesome. Very good. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I think we need to do just add the other ones. You were the other one's tag inspired. Ones. Ones. Okay. So yeah. the third, um, the next three are going to be inspire, be inspired, and start doing what you love. Okay. Inspire, be inspired, start doing what you love. Okay. Inspire. Three, two. Inspire. Be inspired. In three, two. Be inspired. Start doing what you love. In three, two. Start doing what you love. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my god, we just got it. I'm excited to see this video. Wow, Nicole, that was like good stuff. Yes. (laughs) Really? I'm so excited. So cool. Good emotion. Oh. Oh, I have to look at Drew all the time? The camera. Yeah, in the camera. What if I look at you? Well, if you have to glance at me, you can, but try to keep your eye on the camera like... like oh, my God. Okay, wait. Let me wait just a second. Like, the camera is your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> me, name one thing that sticks out in your mind about the yoga teacher training. Oh, my gosh. One thing? I have so many things. Um, I think the community. Um... I didn't know what to expect being a part of this, but just the community of all these beautiful people that were around you for this time. Uh, it went so quickly, but it was just, you formed such a bond with these beautiful people that I'm still friends with today. Awesome. Thanks. Why did you decide to become a yoga teacher? <sighs> um, Honestly, I don't know. I really, I don't know why I even started pursuing this. It was, I think I'm still on a journey today. I always said it was my mission statement in part of the teacher training to help just one person. And I think I've received so much more than helping that one person than I could even have possibly imagined. And I just love the journey that I started, love the journey now, and can't wait for the journey to continue. You're awesome. Yeah. Why would you Thanks. Why would you recommend this teacher training to other students? Why would I recommend for yourself? You have to be, you have to be you. And whatever that is, you just have to shine and explore who you are. Even if it's you were a yoga student um, you know, for 50 years, and now you're saying to yourself, why am I going to do this? Just do it. No questions. Don't, don't delve into it. Just do it. Because in my early 20s, I practiced yoga for so completely different reasons than I did now 20 years later. Um, that now it's so much more, it's true mind, body, and spirit, that it will take you to places of yourself that you had no idea existed. And it's such a beautiful thing to explore. Perfect. Can I stop for a second? Can I shake it out? Woo woo! Amazing. Okay. okay. You Are you gonna cut this stuff out that yeah. I'm doing? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course. Yeah. We might have bloopers at the end. <laughs> I, I'm surprised I haven't um, yet. How did this teacher training affect your life? <sighs> how has it affected my life? Honestly, <clears throat> I think 
it has affected my life so much more than anything I have ever done in my life. And I've done a lot. Um, it is so pure, so non-judgmental, so forgiving, um, so beautiful in so many aspects that you can't possibly imagine. But to be in it, to be a part of it, to from the teacher training that I said to myself in the beginning, and I'll be honest, that first weekend, I went, it was the Super Bowl weekend, and I went back to a friend's house and I said, I can't do this. What am I thinking? I haven't practiced yoga for 20 years. Maybe I should just talk to Jennifer and say, you know, maybe I should start doing some yoga first, some classes, and then maybe I'll get into it. And I said, no, you know what? Stick with it. Don't give up. Don't, don't fail. And I said, all right, you know what? I may not be the strongest. I may not be able to do certain poses that someone else is going to do because of an injury that I sustained. But I said, you know what? We teach and I've heard from Jennifer through the teacher training, you teach what is pure from your heart. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna stick with that and I'm gonna do this, even if it's just for myself, even if I do nothing else with it, that I'm gonna stick with it. And oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, I stuck with it because it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. Please don't give up on it. Please don't give up on yourself and do it for yourself. Of course, I, of course yeah. I forgot what you asked. So <laughs> I forgot what your question was. <laughs> That's how it's affected my life. <laughs> That's it? Oh. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to um, give you three and then three more. So you're just going to say the saying. The um, first three is find your passion. Deepen oh, say it now? No, no, no. Oh. I'm just going to tell you what they are first. Find your passion, deepen your practice, change your life. Okay, so we'll go one by one. I'm find not going to remember those. So say into the camera. We'll, we'll repeat it again and just say, find your passion. Like say it with, you know, with passion. The one saying and then the next saying. And the okay, so first let's okay. find your passion. So find your passion in three, two. Find your passion. <laughs> Deep in your practice. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, wait. It's just deep in your practice. Deep in your practice. In Drew, three. listen, you're not a very nice producer. <laughs> Be nice. Deep in your practice. In three. What am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Deep in your practice. Oh, okay. your practice okay. But, but, you know, embrace what it's mean. Yeah. Deep in your practice. In three, two. Deep in your practice. Wait, what was it? I'm sorry. Change your life. Okay, wait. Change Change your your life. life. Change your life. Change your life. In three, two. Change your life, guys. Can I do, guys? Wait, let me do it again. All right. Three, two, one. Change your life. Beautiful. Great. That was great. Great. The hand gesture and everything. And then the last thing again. Inspire, be inspired. Start doing what you love. Inspire is the first one. Inspire. I know. I should have a card. Wait. Inspire. 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 Be inspired. Be inspired. Start doing what you love. You're going to have a lot of bloopers on this when you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Three separate ones. So right inspire, inspired. Be inspired. Right now and... Um, Start doing what you love. Start doing inspire, what you love. Be inspired. I have to say it all together? No. Oh. So oh. Just, just inspire. Oh. Inspire. Inspire. Oh. Inspire. Inspire. Oh. In three, two... Inspire. Be inspired. Be inspired. Okay, and start doing what you love. In three, two. Start doing what you love. Oh. Great. So good. Great, great, great. Oh my gosh. Is there anything that I can do uh, with them together on camera that would look cool? With teacher training, probably, yeah. right? Like 
like while they're here and I'm here, like getting good things and bringing Nicole's the back. first one. I'm the second one. Right? You were the first teacher oh, trainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the second one. I didn't have anybody from the third one mm. come in. I just had, well, I had Taylor, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, you guys are all my teachers, so. I didn't say something into the camera. <laughs> like, let me think. Um, <laughs> thank you, Tula Yoga. Should we stand up for this? <laughs> What, what do you think, Drew? What do you want to hear him say? I, I, I like that. Thank and you. And I don't like this guy. Yeah, this, this is like... So, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, one person stand, the other one leaves. Here, let me stand. because I chair, and you're both the same. You know, one person. You, sta you sit, have because have I have jeans picture. on. The, the, True. The chair doesn't well, even have to, to be in the picture. Too. And it's okay that you have jeans on. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you right? sure? Yeah, you're not doing that. I don't want to insult... you guys are like, um... Thank you, Tula Yoga, or like, we... Like, we love yoga teacher training, or like, you know what I mean? Something like that, like at the same time. How about thank you teacher thank you. training for our jobs? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Like thank you teacher training. To, um, you, you all... So you sit and I'll stand behind you. I think okay. so, yeah. I, th I think somebody's sitting <clears throat> and then, you know, let me move this. Since you have so, the microphone. Someone's sitting. Something. Thank you. Thank you, Tula Yoga or something. Yeah, because we can yeah. just do okay. it on the face. It's yeah. just, um, just like the two of you with okay. the energy together would be nice. <clears throat> okay. Where are you, baby? Yeah. Where are you, baby? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm not used to. Yeah, and then it's going to have to be like this. It's too straight of the line right now. It's got to be like yeah. something like more like Good. that. All right. Oh, and you have your shirt, too. Oh, how cute you are. Excited. 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 <laughs> Woo-woo. Yoga. Yeah. In three, we love teaching yoga in three, two, one. We, we love, love teaching, teaching yoga. yoga. <laughs> Good energy. Let's try, let's try, um, or how about we love teaching we love, yoga at Tula Yoga? We love Tula Yoga? We love Tula Yoga. We love Tula Yoga. Yes. Love Tula yoga. <laughs> in three. Oh wait. Two, one. We, we love, love Tula wait, Yoga. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Tula Yoga in three, <laughs> two, one. We, we love Tula, Tula Yoga! yoga. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Hey, perfect. Right. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Otherwise, I'll go on and on, and I won't know what to say. And, I'll, and, and if you guys want to really laugh, you'll see how many times I go, I, I'm like blooper central. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be like that right now. Let's see. How do I look? <laughs> the Namaste shirt good? It's good. Yeah. It's like 3D. It's like 3D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> What inspires me? I absolutely love watching all of the students that take the teacher training um, from beginning to end really be transformed. Um, it's such an amazing experience and journey for me to guide all of these students through this process. Um, yoga teacher training for me is so much more than a physical journey, but really a spiritual transformation. Cut. <laughs> um, now I had to gather my thoughts. I was just rambling. You could probably use a piece of that. Absolutely. Um, I noticed that with you every time you talk, I'm using pieces and put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so bad at interview questions. It's like the worst. Like when I teach, when we teach on camera, I go one shot. Like I could teach a whole class with no problem, but when I do this, I'm like bleh, 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 bleh. You teach every day and you're used to that. And you can I'm that so bad with interview, like it's it. hard for me. <clears throat> okay. What inspires me? What inspires you to teach teacher training? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, 
what inspires me. I absolutely love teaching yoga teacher training. Um, it's something that I've been doing for a few years and it not only um, it's so rewarding to see all the students um, go through this process and um, I'm honored each and every time to really be a guide for them from beginning to end in this journey. And it truly is a journey. You know, the practice of yoga um, for me is really about finding yourself and really finding what works for you. And during the yoga teacher training, I really try to encourage and teach the students to really be yourself, right? And becoming a teacher is about finding yourself, finding what works for you, and just sharing that love and that passion that you have for yoga with other people. And yoga really is for everyone. Anyone can do yoga, any age, any level, any size, shape, any person can practice yoga and any person can do yoga teacher training. It really is for everyone. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I keep going off on tangents. Okay, focus me. Somebody tell me, ask me something else. Yeah, because what am I, what did I even just say? <laughs> did that, was that good? I don't even know what well, I said. Yeah. I was just talking about what yoga means for me, which I do want to include in there. I like that. Why did you start doing teacher training? Well, I was kind of just thrown into the <laughs> yoga teacher training. Um, it was actually after I got trained, um, one of my first jobs was beginning to um, work for a yoga teacher training school where I was um, continuing to do yoga teacher trainings myself and then assist in yoga teacher training. So I was kind of really thrown into the whole process. But um, after my second yoga teacher training, I just absolutely loved it. It was just so amazing for me. And every time I go through a teacher training with a new group of students, I learn so much myself. Um, so I'm so happy and lucky to be able to offer this yoga teacher training here at Tula. And uh, we have such a great group of instructors here for the teacher training to guide all of our students. And um, I just, I don't know. <laughs> um, that was a good question, but I feel like that, I feel like it wasn't that, that's not really a good answer because it's not really like an inspirational story, how I started. Yeah, 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 you can cut that out. What can like someone, what can, like if I was gonna go to teacher training, no, this what is can good. someone expect to get out of going to teacher training? Oh, okay, I think Stephanie said that really well. But so if I'm asking you, you okay. know, I'm considering maybe going to teacher training, but what can I expect? <laughs> when someone comes to you. What can I expect to get out, what can I I know, I feel like I do better when I'm, okay, let me act like I'm talking one on one. Okay. What was it? Good now? Now? Okay. So what can you expect during yoga teacher training? Yeah, what, yeah, what can someone expect to get out of teacher training? <clears throat> so for the yoga teacher training, you definitely need to be dedicated. Um, there will be some work and, and commitment um, during the yoga teacher training, but you will get so much out of it. So, um, you know, a big part of the practice is the physical practice, um, but then beyond that, um, there is so much more that you learn. Uh, we learn the philosophy of yoga, um, breathing techniques and meditation, um, anatomy and learning the body, um, how to assist students in class, um, we also touch on prenatal yoga and kids yoga, chair yoga. Um, so it's so comprehensive. There's so much information in the teacher training. So you will leave so knowledgeable um, and really be ready to go out there and start teaching. Um, and I try to really also focus on allowing each student to find um, their individuality. So to really find what works for them and to use that um, to go out there and, and, and start doing your own thing and, and be yourself and just and teach and, and love it and just share this beautiful practice of yoga with everyone. Cool. What makes Tula Yoga's teacher training program different? Why <coughs> <coughs> Okay. I was just Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, why choose Over someone Tula else. over someone else? That's good. Mm -hmm. I choose Tula. Yeah. Um, I've seen so many 200-hour yoga teacher trainings. I've been teaching for, um, you know, almost 10 years now, and um, I've found a lot of great programs, 200 hour, and the program that we offer here at Tula Yoga is a partner program with Yoga Education Institute, and the woman that wrote our program, Nancy Weil, um, her material for this program is amazing. It is so comprehensive, and she really touches on every aspect um, of yoga. So I feel like the material and the teachers that we've brought in for this teacher training, I've really brought in specialized teachers for each subject that we cover in the teacher training to really give you the best in each area. Um, and I am just so dedicated and passionate about this program that I give my all and 100% to each and every student that walks through this door and um, I know that this program will really change your life. When someone graduates? I think it's Jen. Okay. Was that a good answer, guys? Yes, yeah. yeah, that yeah. was really good. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting better now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when someone graduates, what do you want so upon completion of the yoga teacher training, you know, I want to really see that the student is confident and prepared, you know, knowledgeable about the material that we've taught them and um, you know, using what they've learned in the teacher training and then really making it their own to really find their own unique voice as a yoga teacher and uh, to really be able to work with all populations. So I hope and I've seen you know, our teachers that have graduated here um, that they are able to teach yoga to anybody. So whether you have you know, somebody that's brand new to yoga or somebody has been practicing yoga for years, um, the style of yoga that we teach here at Tula um, works for everyone you know we can um, teach a class of beginners and advanced students and everyone um, will feel happy and there will be something for everybody to do there are so many benefits of yoga and um, i really want everybody to experience that and with this teacher training your training will allow you to really teach to everybody and on that note if i don't have much yoga Yes, so, you know, anybody, whether you are brand new to yoga or you've been teaching yoga for years, this teacher training program really um, is for any level. So we will teach you the basics of everything that you need to know. So even if you're just starting yoga and you're like, wow, I love yoga, I'm so passionate about it, I wanna learn more, this program is for you. Um, you will deepen your practice through this training as well as learn the tools to become a great teacher. That was a great answer right there. That was a lot of good, that was great. We're gonna definitely use that. Um, I think actually, um, okay, I wanna add there's one more no, thing. There's no rambling in there. I know, I ramble a lot. I, there's good. one that thing about, good. I think I wanna talk about after graduation, what you were saying, um, like maybe if you can find a job, like something about teaching after graduation, I wanna say. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so after completing the yoga teacher training, our teachers are prepared to go out there and teach. Um, actually, a few of our teachers here at Tula Yoga took our teacher training program and are successful working instructors, and I'm just so proud of them and so proud to see that. And I do anything that I can after the teacher training to really help all of my students to get out there and get work, and I am there as support um, even after the teacher training is completed, um, I'm there always for all my students to support them throughout their teaching journey. Okay. <laughs> um, anything Word. else? Word. Wait, Word. anything else? What was the, like the first question? Because I feel like now I'm a little more relaxed, I'd probably answer it better. First question was, what inspires you, but then it went right into what inspired you to teach your training? Oh, okay. I feel like I said a lot of that Wait. rambling. What inspired me to teach? Oh, it, oh sorry. Like, I know. I always flip my hair. Little pieces keep like sticking out. Um, <laughs> anything else? I feel like we have a lot of footage. You can probably chop yeah. that up. Yeah. Is there anything I didn't touch on, you guys, that you think was important? So we talked about like after graduation, what inspires me to teach? 
I talked about the program, what it entails. The one thing I noticed you said, even though that was a really good answer that you gave, was um, you said whether you are just starting yoga or you've been teaching for years yeah. instead of taking it. Oh, yeah. oh okay, let me redo like, that then. Maybe, I don't know if you can relate really <clears> to <throat> that with all that awesomeness. Okay, I, what, was my, what was I talking about there? Um, when we asked, can I do this program if I don't have a lot of okay. experience, and you had an amazing answer, but you just said like teaching okay. instead of like teaching. Uh, all right, like, okay, you know, okay. okay. So can, can you do people? yoga? Yeah. So yeah. can you do yoga if you don't have any teach any experience? Yeah. Okay. So our teacher training at Tula really is for any level. So whether you are no, cut. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so even though I'm a beginner to yoga. Yes. Could I, does it make sense for me to take teacher training? Yeah, so anybody can, <laughs> anybody, uh, anybody can take our, our yoga teacher training here at Tula, whether you're a beginner, so if you just began a yoga practice and you really love it and are passionate about it and you want to learn more, um, this program will do that for you. You will learn all of the basics and you don't need to be at any physical level to be able to take this teacher training. Um, and if you've been practicing yoga for years, this will help to deepen your practice and also learn all of the tools that you need to become a successful yoga teacher and to be able to share this beautiful ancient practice with everyone, with the world. Yeah. Let's see. I, I, People I ask. Yeah. I remember. I remember calling you mm -hmm. um, for even coming in for what was it? The um, the info session. Yeah, the info session. Mm -hmm. Because I had found your ad uh -huh. in that little like. Oh yeah, yeah the shopaholic. Or and <laughs> just keep talking, Zephy. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember calling you because that was the question that I had was because I hadn't practiced yoga for right. 20 years, I had the injury mm -hmm. to my knee and I couldn't, I was just getting back into doing any form of exercise. Mm -hmm. That was what I asked you and that was what you said to me. That's right. what you were talking about. Right, okay, good. Anyone can do it. Anyone so can it do, was, it was right. That you went on that. So is that clear, the way that I answered it? Mm -hmm. It was yeah, clear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. All right, anything else? All right. That's good. It's yeah. a wrap. Plus we're really Please join us for yoga teacher training. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yay! One more right. right time in three, two, one. Please join us for yoga teacher training. No, the thumb is the thumbs are so stupid. No, 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 no. That's stupid. Please join us for yoga teacher training. No. <clears throat> Please join us for our next yoga teacher training. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs>Just act natural. There'll be a lot of music overlays. I was going to wave, but wave. I thought that's natural. Wave right here. What are you waving to? Over there? Oh, oh, oh she's getting a picture. Stuff. We're just going to go through just a little flow that's going to really address everything that we went through today. So looking at um, muscle movements, right, lateral flex flexion, extension, turns, and we're going to focus on a lot of the alignment and the things that we talked about today. Um, so as we go through, just take your time, be patient with it. We're going to take them nice and slow in the beginning. We're just going to go through some of these poses, nice and easy. As you inhale, feel your body expand. Allow your shoulder blades to lift up towards your ears, using the muscles in your upper back, the trapezius, your rhomboids. And as you exhale, here we go. Inhale. 
Yes, yes. A couple more breaths together, nice and tight. So like how we were talking about before, when the chest gets tight here, I want you to bring awareness to what's happening with your upper body, with your arms. Start to pull your shoulder blades together and lift your chest, lead with your heart. Now on your next exhale, I'm going to have you move to your left side, bringing both hands to your left side. Feel that lateral stretch along your spine. Check in at your root and at your pelvis. Good. Inhale back to your center, and then exhale to our right side. Good. One more time, each side, inhale, and exhale to our left. Inhale, and when you're ready to exhale, we're going to move to our right side. Excellent. Now, when you're ready to inhale, come back to your center, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to start our turns. We're going to start to work along our transverse plane. So on your next exhale, I'm going to have you turn to your right, to your left side rather, turn to your left side, and then we're going to allow our right hand to come down to our left knee. And then our left hand comes down behind our back, right at our lower back. And I want you to keep your eyes side up, keep your chest nice and high. Remember what we talked about as far as pulling your shoulder blades in, lifting at your chest with pride. All oh, you beautiful yogis, you famous, I tell you. If I come on, show you must be on TV. Oh, wait, <laughs> Nice. Let's inhale back to our center here, turning nice and easy, coming back to the top. And when we're ready to exhale, we're going to turn to our right side, leading with your chest and with your eyesight. Left hand comes down to our right knee. Right hand comes down behind our lower back. Press through and lift. Yeah. Inhale here. Feel the expansion as you breathe into your chest. As you exhale, push your belly button into your spine. Turn a little bit more into it. Good. Niceness. All right, everyone. Now, let's turn. Inhale, come back to our center. Inhale, hands come up to the top. And then as we exhale, uh, shake it out. Yeah, shake it out. All right, good. So now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to transition into our tabletop. So from here, you can uncross your legs, move it to your tabletop here. And we're going to slowly transition into our standing pose. So I'm going to have you all, let's curl our feet under. And let's get that communication that we were talking about before. So before we go into our down dog, I'm going to have you really grab into your hands here. Grab into the mat. Feel the texture of the mat. Now make sure that your knees are right in line with your belly button. So we're going to bring up here. Good. Here we go. Curl your feet under. Now from here, we're just going to exhale, lift our knees off of the mat. Just and experience the body connect at the shoulders, at the hips, at your hands, at your feet. And on your next exhale, let's float it, bring our tailbone all the way up to the sky, into our downward dog. On your skin, charging your body, your muscles, your bones, your tendons and ligaments. Feel and experience your feet connected. As we're here, let's internally rotate our knees in towards the center of our body. Feel our hips engage as they slowly move forward. You may even feel your glutes and your butt start to activate here too. Now here, our solar panel right at the center of our chest, that's called the sternum. And I'm gonna have you just lift that up to the sky, taking in that sun. At this point, show appreciation for this beautiful vessel that you've been given, your body. And appreciating the knowledge that we had today. Now we're going to release from this, okay, we're going to bring our hands right to our thighs and we're going to sink into our chair to start to work our big muscles, the muscles along the back of our body. Who remembers what that's called? Yeah! All the time that camera's got nothing on you! I don't scare no camera. So now, posterior chain. What we're going to focus on here is bringing our... Bring it right here. 
and start to open up again. Starting to engage our shoulder blades here and opening up the chest. Yeah. Inhale back to our center and let's go the other side now. Oh, jump. That's what I'm talking about. Now, listen, as you ladies come back, let's come back to the second. Let's come back to the second. Come back to your center and let's stand up. So, listen, we're going to go through this again, okay? What I want you to be aware of, instead of looking back here, when you first look back, I want you to look back down. And I just want you to check in on your knees. Now, if your knees are off a little bit, I got you covered. Okay, so I'll come back, I'll come around, I'll start to straighten out where I think you need to, and then just feel what's happening with the body, okay? So everybody, let's come back into our, into our chair, modified chair, hands on the thighs, sink back. And this is the start of our warm, so we're just starting to warm up the spine here. So as we exhale, how fitting, right? Oh. <laughs> Good. So now from here, let's take our hands, place them on our left knee, Get your balance here. So when we talk about our, the back of our body, I want you to take the opportunity and press through your left heel or your right heel. Feel the engagement. Even if the knee is down here, press through your right hip. Yeah. And remember what we talked about here. This is usually a time when you want to kind of cower here. No. Uh-uh-uh. Alright, so now come back to your center, hands on the opposite side of your um, left foot, bring your right foot into your left, good, and now we're going to slowly roll our spine up to our nice tall position. So now that we got ready for that, right, we got ready for our turns and twists, we're going to go into our chair and into our lunge, and we're really going to go into our twist here. So before we do that, what I'm going to have us do here is let's take our hands and bring right to the center, like we're pressing the palms together, pressing them together. Now you'll notice here what's happening is we're starting to engage our upper body, our upper back. We're also starting to engage our, protect, our pectoralis major and minor. So really press in here. Now what this is doing here is as we start to turn, this is going to help give you leverage. So our goal is to get our opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Alright? So, everyone, let's release. You guys ready? Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's inhale, hands up to the sky. Let's get our lateral movement. Let's get our frontal plane. So let's go with our crescent moon. Exhale to our left side. <sighs> Inhale back to the center. Exhale over to our right. Yes. Inhale back to our center. Recreate that beautiful self we saw outside. Spread it out. Go into our forward bend, bending at the hips and the knees. And really pressing our tailbone back, keeping our back flat as we possibly can for as long as we can. Good. Now from here, we're going to nestle in, we're going to settle back into our heels, so lift your feet a little bit, okay? Nestle back into your heels, and now I'm going to have you bend at your hips and your knees, lower your hips down to the ground, into your chair. Good. Now if you choose, you can keep your hands right here, you can go to your traditional chair, but where we're eventually going to end up is right here. So get yourself set. Good. Excellent. Now, pulling your hands right down to your chest here, really create that spinal alignment here. So now we're going to give our right side some love first. So everyone, let's inhale nice and deep, and then exhale, turn to our right side, driving our elbow over to our right knee. Now you notice as I make some minor adjustments here, we're settling that femur right to that ball and socket joint in our hip. Okay? One more breath, ladies. One more breath. We're all set. We're all good. Once you're done with your next exhale, let's release. Come back to our center. Come back to our forward bend. Release. Allow the muscles along your back, along your spine, your rectus spinae, allow them to give. Release. And don't get nosy, so let your eyesight go behind you. Almost like you're seeing all the stuff that you're letting go of. Good. Now, let's nestle back into our chair. We're going to turn to our left side this time. Chair. And 
you know we're going to end up hands right to our center. As we exhale, focus on really pressing the belly button into the spine, turning, driving our right heat, our right elbow to our left knee. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Excellent job. Nestle in and play around with this a little bit. Have the curiosity of a kid here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's inhale, come back to our center, come down into our forward bend. Good. Relax, release. Now we're going into our lunge and twist. Ladies ready? Are you ladies ready? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Little crowd participation. Yep, there we go. So now, let's settle back into our chair, please. Hips come down. And actually, as your hips are down, sorry, bring, keep your hands connected to the ground. So bring your hands down to the ground. Just lower your hips, okay? Now, let's step back with our left foot into our high lunge. Or you can go low lunge. Remember, we all have choices. And what's the, what's the three-letter word for that causes injury? Ego. ego. Yeah, you got it. Ego. So check your ego at the door. So no, it has no place for here. It has no place here. Listen to what your body is asking of you and give it to it. So now as we're here, let's start to straighten up our torso here, bring our hands into the center of our body. Now at this point, we're gonna turn to our right side and we're gonna drive our left elbow to our right knee. And establish the balance here, and again, use your arms as leverage. As we stay here and breathe, focus on expanding your chest cavity, and as you exhale, use your abdominal muscles to force the toxins out of your body. Niceness, that's what I'm talking about right here. Good, so now ladies, on your next inhale, let's come back down to a straight, come straight to uh, in line with your leg, hands come down to the ground, let's step Let's curl our left foot under if it's not curled already, and let's step our right foot back to our left into our downward dog. So because we've been doing a lot of twists on this side for right now, we're gonna do our scorpion, or we're gonna do our three-legged dog, okay? So I'm gonna have you, ladies, please lift your left, or I'm sorry, your right heel up to the sky, just straight up to the sky. And just like how we learned about all the different bones and joints, we're gonna start to bend all of our joints now, and bend at your knee, Bend at your ankle and bring it over to your left side. Opening the right side of your body. Drive your knee up to the sky. And now we talked about plantar flexion, right? So point your toes down to the ground. Play peekaboo. Can you see your foot? Peekaboo. Yeah, have, that's right. Have fun with it. Nice. Open up, inhale, breathe, feel. On your next exhale, let's come into our downward dog, please. Good. And now we're going to walk or float our feet up to our hands. Okay. Keeping our hips low. Good. Now from here, let's step back with our left. Oh, wait, we just did our left. We'll step back with our right. Yeah. <laughs> step back with our right. There we go. Into our high lunge here. Remember, as we're in our lunge, we're driving back into our heel to engage the back of the body and posterior chain. So now as we're here, we're going to lift up our torso a little bit. Hands. This is one of the best beats, man. What? This is like a hammock beat. Like, I can just chill in a hammock and listen to this, like, sip of iced tea. I'm good, man. What? It's a wrap. So now, as we're here, let's exhale, let's turn over to our left side now. The goal and intention is to bring our right elbow over to our left knee. In addition, this is tracking that IT band. Our thigh is helping to keep us in alignment. Inhale, exhale, breathe into this. And as you exhale, feel the twist and allow your body to open up a little bit more, wringing out your toxins. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's inhale, let's bring both hands down to the ground. 
curl your right foot under and let's step our left foot back to our right into our downward dog. Excellent. Now while we're here, just for a little bit, start to pedal. So bend one knee straight in the other. Start to pedal. Try to drive your heels into the mat. And as we're here, you're going to feel a lot of expansion. We talked about the ball and socket joint. So you're going to feel a lot of expansion along your hamstrings, along your calves, and you're also going to feel engagement along your back. Excellent. Now, let's lift our left heel off the ground, raise it as high as we can to open up our shoulders. Excellent. Now, remember what we talked about, let's open up the body. Bend at the knee, bend at the ankle, and open up the left side. Really point your toe out. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Plant our flexion right here. This is also flexion at the knee and extension at our hip. Great for opening up that hip flexor and feeling that fascial line from your fingers all the way towards your toes. Now everybody, let's exhale. Come down to our downward dog. Good, and now what I'm gonna have you do is just come down to your knees and shift your tailbone back to your, to your hips so we go into our child's pose. Now, we're gonna go into our sassy beast mode. So as we're here in our child's pose, perfect segue because we're gonna act like children. The first time it's ever allowed as adults, all right? So as we're here, before we do that, I want you to allow this transition to happen. And I want you to settle into your child's pose. And I want you to experience your breathing here. And not just from inhaling and exhaling, I want you to feel this from what's happening as far as your body. I want you to feel the intercostals in between your ribs expanding as you inhale. As you exhale, I want you to experience your rectus abdominis, your obliques, compressing into your midsection to expel toxins, to release tension and stress. And if you want to here, you can start to move around the shoulders. Start to think about what feels good for your body and do it. Good. Nice. Excellent. So now, let's, let's act like beasts. Sexy beasts we are here. Too good. So everybody come forward into your tabletop position or the beast like we were learning outside. Now this is an area here where we can either, first of all, let's curl our feet under. Our knees are going to be in line with our toe, with our, with our belly button. And let's get our shoulder retraction and protraction. So bring our, shoulder, bring our shoulders together, pressing away. Again, keeping our arms as straight as we possibly can. Experiencing our shoulder blades glide along our back, along our rib cage. Now, as you get yourself set and as you get yourself into your um, neutral, neutral spine, find that middle ground between your protraction and retraction. And now, I'm going to have you lift your knees off the mat one inch. Now, oh, 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 you know. You know? <laughs> so, what I'm going to have you do, and hold on, I'm just going to adjust one thing here. All right, good. And exhale, come on down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it nice and slow. We're going to crawl four steps forward, four steps back. And I want you to take your time. I want you to be here. This is where we start to find some of those dreaded trigger points. Right? Now slowly settle in and feel as you're pushing from one side to the other. I want you to feel your body and your shoulders start to get connected. Breathing, inhale, exhale, feel it. And if you want to, you can go to the other side too. Ah, uh, jump. I posted a video on my Facebook page the other day. I was working on this thing called a leopard. 
And my sister was like, what the heck are you doing? I was like, yo, that's my come to bed on Saturday nights, man. That's like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yo, you gotta have fun. So listen, so as we start to move the shoulders here, what we're doing is we're stepping in with both limbs and we're moving. So plant here, feel the support, move. Plant, feel the support, move. Yeah. Plant, feel the support, move. Yes. Nice. Feel that energy and that support as you press into your hands, you press into your feet. Nice. And start to come on back now. This is the tricky part. Yeah, it always is. <laughs> Now the reason why it gets tricky is because now you're starting to really work your brain. This is putting everything together. This is a complex neural movement. So we're incorporating not just more muscles in the whole body, but we're incorporating more nuance to get connected. All right? Excellent. All right, so listen, you guys want to have a little fun with this? We've got about, how much time we have, like four minutes? About that. Yeah, cool. Okay. So do you guys remember the under switches from last time? Yeah? Okay, under switches. Under switches are like a transition. I think we worked on it last time where we're in our crab here, and all we're going to do is we're going to lift contralaterally, and we're going to turn into our beast. You didn't? Yo, you guys up for it? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so listen. Sure. Yeah. We're about to find out. Yo, isn't that great? Like when you're in a crowd, it's like, you know, five of the people are like, yeah, and the other five are like, <laughs> I was tired, man. I wanted to go home. <laughs> you know, that's just what happened. So listen, so listen. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, first things first. What we're going we're gonna to work on here is all it is is like, is really just think about like turning on your forefoot. Like Elvis. Okay? So when we lift, when we lift contralaterally, all we're doing is we're turning our forefoot and we're turning under. Our foot's coming under. And actually, you know what? If you guys want to go off the mat, because the mat's going to try and trip you up. So roll your mats up and you roll it towards the back here, because the mat will trip you up. The mat's going to want to hold you there. You're not meant to be held down. What? No way, man. Let the beast out. Not me. Yes. 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 I'm free. I'm free. Oh, God. All right, well, I'm just going to put these over here so we can look clean. Two, how's it looking? Clean? Yeah, clean. clean. Okay. Very good. Cool. All right, so everyone. Okay, I'm going to take this over here for you, okay? Okay, so. Now, let's come into our crab position. The hips are off the mat. Okay? So as we're here, I'm going to have you lift your right foot. Okay? Now, I'm going to have you just start to play around. Oh, you guys got me too? Yo, this for y'all, JC, this class is bad. Yes. All right, so now when you come up onto your toe right here, all we're going to do is we're going to turn our right foot under. Into our beast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now. Now that we're on our forefoot, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you raise your left foot. Okay, raise your left foot. Now your left foot is going to come under your body as you come back into your crab. <laughs> Without dropping the hips. Great job, guys. Great effort. So when we're here, okay, we're turning here, and then we're going to turn under. Yes. Sure. So here. Here. We're going under the body, like threading the needle. Yes, you got it. Yep. And then keep rolling. So this leg is going to go under the body again. Yeah. Yes. Good. Yes. Play around with that, and it's coming under the body. Okay. I am on the computer. Nice. Good. Okay. A little different. All right. So. What we can do now, we're going to work the transition here. We're going to really get the brain fired. The brain's going to be like, what the heck are you doing? So one of the beautiful things about this whole yoga, different types of yoga, and fall, that doesn't matter. 
What we want to do here, our goal and objective, is to get people to move this and remember. Coming, okay? So in this one, just like, I want you to just kind of play around with what's happening to the body. Play around with some of those other switches you learned and your primal forms. Okay? Primal forms is when we were crawling like this. So now if I'm crawling, you can play around with your transition and come here. <laughs> play around with it. And what this may look like is like here. It could look like whatever you guys did. The beautiful thing, and this is why I love what we do about yoga, every mat that's in our class is like a fingerprint. They're all different. They're all going to express themselves in a pose different. Our objective is to keep them safe. So it's like I heard this quote today, right? In this book called Psychokinetics. And it said, everybody on the yoga mat, right? It's not they say this, but everybody on the yoga mat is comparing themselves to someone else, like there's better or worse. This quote said, inferiority and superiority are reverse sides of the same coin. Where the truth lies is that the coin is a mirage. You're just you. So as you guys are thinking about, and we'll play around this a little bit as we wrap up, but as you guys are thinking about what you learned today, I want you to think about the basics and the safety, but I want you to also be able to appreciate that each person that you teach in class is going to be unique. Not inferior or superior, they're just them. Everyone understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now you guys are all going to express yourself in beast form. <laughs> Play around with it a little bit. We got a couple minutes. Still Just enjoy fun. yourself. All right? Ah, uh, don't think too much. Everyone's like, oh God, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all here together, it's no coincidences. None. Learn from each other, keep learning about yourselves as a unit, as a body. And you guys as a yoga teacher training class unit, you guys are awesome. Thank you for today. Thank you. All right. Proud of you guys. Awesome job today. Awesome job. Great. She didn't. Like, but that's gonna be here. <laughs> and again, don't worry if you like. I, you know how many times I mess up? We just cut and redo. So just like whatever. Just say whatever comes to mind. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me know when you're ready. What inspired me to teach yoga teacher training? What inspires you to teach at teacher training or teach yoga teachers and training? Mm. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever we're ready. Whenever you guys are ready. Yeah. In three. Two. All right, so what inspired me to teach yoga teacher training? Uh, it's really to help others because um, yoga is becoming such a big thing nowadays in so many ways and in so many different atmospheres than it wasn't before. And that opens the yoga concept of the yoga classes to um, just inconsistencies and in ways a lot of people can get hurt. So me being involved in the yoga teacher training is really a way for me to give back to ensure that I do my part to make sure that people stay safe in all these yoga classes. Um, because, uh, listen, we don't want to hurt anyone. We want to make sure that it's a pleasurable experience. So for me to be able to come and, and take my experience and help another yoga instructor, I'm in. It's a big win. Awesome. Yeah. Um, awesome. 
That's perfect. And when I'm thinking, I'm visualizing when we put this on, maybe we put on the bottom his name, and because uh, he teaches the anatomy, we put like Paul, anatomy expert. Oh, expert, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, I think you're wanting that. Like, oh, I'm um, I like that. That was great. Uh, I think just one more question. Um, maybe something more specific to Tulu's teacher training. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. What, um, let me think. Um, why, why would you recommend students to come train here at Tula with you and our staff? Um, it's real. It just seems like what, what I see, especially being a part of this compared to, some, uh, compared to what I've heard about other yoga teacher trainings and then from what I experienced is that it's real application as we learn. So the benefit there is that as, yoga, as future yoga instructors are going through the class, by the time they're done, they have confidence. They understand, they're able to, when someone comes into a class, like I know for me, when I first started yoga teacher training, I was scared. I was like, please, I hope they don't ask me any questions. So being able, what I like about what we do here is that they apply it. We'll teach something, go and do it. Teach your instructors. And as we start to build the blocks, they gain more confidence. We give them more opportunities to teach classes. So they're able to really shine their light out in a yoga profession rather than just being a robot and going through a standard set of, uh, of poses and the sequence. Rocked it. Yes. Perfect. That's awesome. it. Awesome. That's a wrap. Wrap? Good. Yeah. I'm like, Jay-Z, baby.